Please stand for the morning prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The mission of Immaculate Conception Catholic School is to offer all students from early childhood to adolescence a quality Roman Catholic education by meeting the specific needs of the student in their spiritual, academic, cultural, physical, and social development. This will ensure a Christ-centered life and awareness of God in an ever-changing world. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. watching WICS Celtic News. From the hallways to the classroom. Bringing you the latest in school news and information. Your Celtic news starts now. Good morning, Immaculate. Today is Thursday, May 11, 2017. Welcome to your Celtic news. I'm Max. And I'm Sophie, and here's your daily news. St. Ignatius of Laconi was the son of a poor farmer in Italy. He was born on December 17, 1701. When he was about 17, he became very ill. He promised to be a Franciscan if he would get better. But when the illness left him, his father convinced him to wait. A couple of years later, Ignatius, Ignatius was almost killed when he lost control of his horse. Suddenly, however, the horse stopped and trotted on quietly. Ignatius was convinced that God had saved his life. He made up his mind to follow his religious vocation at once. For 40 years, he was part of a group of Franciscans who went out from house to house requesting food and donations to support the friars. Ignatius visited families and received their gifts, but the people soon realized that they received a gift in return. Brother Ignatius consoled the sick and cheered up the lonely. He made peace between enemies, converted people hardened by sin, and advised those in trouble. Brother Ignatius died at the age of 80 on May 11, 1781. 
He was proclaimed a saint by Pope Pius XII in 1951. His feast day is celebrated on May 11th. Celtic Bowl tickets are on sale now. Make sure to get them and join us as our Celtics face off against Holy Rosary on Tuesday, May 16th at 1.30 p.m. Happy National Lost Sock Memorial Day! This day recognizes a fun and unique holiday. It is time to say goodbye to all the single socks, the ones where their mates have been lost to the unknown. Where do all the missing socks go? Is there a washing machine heaven? This is a question that people have been trying to solve for many centuries. An answer may never be found to this question, unless we go on. How sad to have lost such a close-knit friend. In honor of Zoe's birthday, we are having a frozen dress on day, this Friday, May 12th. All donations collected will be given to Zoe's family. Please bring in one dollar or more if you would like to participate. Students may wear jeans and a frozen t-shirt or the colors white, pink, and light blue. We would like to wish Father Manny a wonderful day as he celebrates 15 years of priesthood. May God bless you with many more. Thank you for all that you do to guide us in our faith. school news and information, follow us on Twitter at WICS News. And on Instagram at ICS Celtics. Have, Have a great, great day, Celtics. Celtics.